chronic diseases are a wide and varied set of diseases, as you can imagine. They occur in every organ. Uh, they include some of the major ones like heart failure and high blood pressure, diabetes. And for every disease, the nervous system is to some extent controlling all of your organs. So in the instance of your heart, your peripheral nervous system transmits information about when it should beat harder or faster to counteract a drop in blood pressure. It tells your heart when to slow down in order to recover. So in diseases such as heart disease, what happens when you develop the disease is that these signals connecting our brain to that organ start to go out of sync. And the major misunderstanding that is only starting to be sort of corrected is that the disease is not happening just because your heart itself is getting damaged. The major cause of the disease is a proliferation of faulty neural signals and an inability of your brain to control your heart as you age and as you get more diseased. Targeting the peripheral nervous system for treating cardiac diseases is already the most common method that pharmaceutical molecules use. The beta blocker, the most commonly used cardiac drug, targets the neural messages as they impact on the heart and tries to slow them down. So there is already a large body of evidence for the usage of the nervous system to control the heart. And what we're doing at BIOS is bringing that into sort of live decoding so that we can understand those messages in detail. We can start to use machine learning techniques and AI to help us really understand this neural language, so to quantify and simplify the very complex biological signals. The ultimate goal is to allow us to create a new form of very personal and precise healthcare where we can understand your disease very accurately, but also start to create treatments that are directly editing that language. The innovation that we have here at BIOS in our technology has allowed us to be the world first to use machine learning to decode neural signals associated with blood pressure. But that same technology platform can be used to decode neural signals to do with a host of other organ control and a host of other diseases. So whether it's diabetes, other cardiovascular diseases, or chronic inflammatory diseases like arthritis and Crohn's. So for people with any stage of a chronic disease, such as heart disease, what we do today is we collect physiological data from their bodies from things such as wearables so it could be consumer products like an apple watch or very medical technologies that the doctor might have in their clinic and that data gets processed by our platform and we pick up the underlying signature that tells us how healthy their nervous system is. We can take the information already being collected by those devices, put it back through our software platform. Because the nervous system is controlling all of those organs, by monitoring them, you start to pick up little signatures of imbalances in the nervous system, and you can then decode that information and provide it to the clinician to help them to make decisions. So we're getting really fantastic feedback, particularly from the clinical community. A lot of clinicians, particularly those in cardiovascular medicine, they're very excited about, for the first time, being able to understand and to quantify how to treat their patients using this new information and this new precision. Part of our work is to pioneer smart implants that can be used to replace conventional medicines. And our first aim is to trial them which we'll be doing imminently, in patients who are at very late stages of heart disease where they're no longer responding to conventional medicines. So the potential for BIOS uh, and the potential for neurotechnology as an industry is that neurotechnology has the ability to become one of the dominant methods of treatment for a large number of the major diseases in the world. And for BIOS, we're building sort of the fundamental underlying decoding that will empower nearly all of those therapeutics for hundreds of millions of people. This concept, this idea of using our nervous system is an idea that's really come of age because with tools like AI and the computing power we have, we can finally understand the signals and then have this much closer connection with our bodies and, and directly use the same pathways our bodies use to make treatments. And that's just fundamentally moving from sort of stone age technology to really where we need to be in this century.